Hi guys, welcome to MML Motorhouse, and uh, today we've got a video tour of the Mercedes-Benz E-Class, the Cabriolet. Um, gorgeous car, absolutely lovely. It's just coming to us. Looks absolutely fantastic. It's in the pearless and white with the navy blue roof and the dark wheels. It's just a really fabulous colour combination. Only done 53,000 miles and just a really nice piece of stock. So what I do, I'm going to give you a quick video tour. I wander around the car once and then we'll go back around it for a second time in a bit more detail. Uh, run through any imperfections, the spec. But we're just finding these videos really useful. So many of our customers now, you know, looking to buy cars from us online with us delivering them. Um, and it's just a nice way, if you've had a quick video tour of the car, um, it's just a really nice way of, you know, when you take delivery, you've not got any sort of like panic or nerves that actually you missed anything from the photos or perhaps the dealer hasn't told you what they need to tell you. You can sort of have a real close up and personal and it's, uh, yeah, hopefully quite helpful. Also, so many of our customers now, you know, traveling a long way, you know, we see a lot of people coming from all over the country to us. And again, it's a, you know, it's a time and money commitment to travel. And it's just nice for us to be able to send you a video first, just so you can really be confident if you do want to travel to see the car or not. Um, again, just gives you a little bit more insight into what you're coming to look at. So here we go. What we'll do, right, before I get into the main video, just very quickly, all our cars, they come with a 41 point health check with our technicians. Make sure they're absolutely roadworthy and legal and ready to go. Uh, they come with new servicing and new MOTing. Uh, with this car here, I'm pretty sure, and I'll just double check it, but I think the service record's showing it's only just been serviced. And we've got best part of a year's MOT on it already. But if that's not the case, it'll have a new service and a brand new MOT. We like the cars to go out with at least nine months plus MOT. So you know from buying a car with us, it's serviced, MOT'd, health checked, and it also comes with a three month warranty, which you can extend if you want, but comes as standard with three month warranty. So you can spend your money in confidence knowing that you're getting a really good car. So right, let's get into it. So if you have a quick look on the windscreen, it's quite a lot of glare from the, from the floodlights in here, so I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be to, to see. The really cool thing on the E-Class, this, this strip here, actually comes up at a certain speed. Um, so if you've got the roof down and it deflects a lot of the wind, so it keeps the noise in the cockpit really kind of like to a minimal, but also it keeps your sort of like the breeze in the cockpit, the wind rush in the cockpit down. So actually you can enjoy, enjoy the drive, you're not getting blown to bits. It's a really cool, cool feature that Mercedes put on these E-Classes. Windscreen really clean. Uh, there's no chips, there's no cracks in that whatsoever. So very, very nice, lovely condition. Um, all good, we've got the sensors at the top there. The colour of this car is gorgeous. And I, do you know, I don't know if the photos of the video do it justice. It's really hard to capture it, but it's a really gorgeous kind of like pearlescent white. Um, and, and that's the only way to describe it really. We've got so many flickers going on in the metallic paint and it is absolutely stunning. And depending on what you like, you catch it under it sort of looks a different variation of whites. It's just a really special color. It was obviously an optional extra when someone had this car um, made. And it's, yeah, really, really, really good money spent. Front of the bonnet, really nice. Got some gorgeous lines on these E-classes. They just scoop right down. You've got that gorgeous um, chrome finish splitter at the bottom, which just adds something to it. This is obviously an AMG. It's a, it's a, it's a 220, but it's an AMG uh, sport line. So it's not a full AMG, but it's an AMG sport line. So you've got the extra spec, extra body kit. Um, so it's just a really nice model to buy. Bonnet looking great. Headlights very good. Got Xenon headlights with day running lights, uh, which look nice. Um, coming along the front bonnet, it's only done 53,000 miles, so you're not going to expect to see too many imperfections, but very, very clean in general. The odd, very small stone chip here and there. Um, I'm stood about a foot from the car under floodlights and I can barely see anything. So it gives you an idea, very little sort of wear on the front. Front parking sensors in really good condition. A couple of little light marks just down here, just on this lower valance here. Someone's just obviously caught that at one point and touched it in. Um, it's really hard to see when you're stood up. It's only when you get low on the car. It's quite a low car in general. Um, but lovely and clean. A lovely Mercedes grill. Again, more front sensors there. I'm going to say, there's barely any stone chips on this car, um, which is really nice. So it's very, very good front end on it. Looking down the side of the car, Lovely and straight, lovely and clean. All the shut lines are exactly where we want them to be. No dings, no dents, so very, very good. Coming down to the front alloy. Now, my only comment on the car is the alloys have got have had a little bit of curbing on them. Um, we really happy, obviously, if you want the car, we're happy to sort of talk to you. We can always look to get them refurbished. Um, we can always touch them in. But for now, for the sake of the video, we've just left them as they are so we can be honest and transparent. Uh, but yeah, it might just be a case of touching them, touching them in, or like I say, we can go for a full refurb on it. 
the little Mercedes badge in the middle, a bit corroded. But other than that, front tire looking really good, loads of tread on it, looks like it's wearing well. Again, the technicians will fully health check it to make sure it's all good. But from a visual inspection, it looks really nice. The drill discs at the front um, are looking very good. They look like they've sort of wearing well again. But again, they'll all be checked by the technicians. But certainly from a visual point of view, they look good. Up here onto the wing mirror, has got a very little bit of a mark there. Just a small stone chip on that wing mirror there. Could always be touched in. But other than that, really lovely and clean all the way down the car. And again, I'm seeing a lot of the, the paint reflection here. I don't know how much you're picking up on the video, but this colour is absolutely superb. Gorgeous down the front. No dings, no dents. Paintwork's lovely. Coming down here on the door line. Very good. A couple of little marks here where someone's just clumsily opened the door onto something else but again we could always touch those in it's not an issue at all and another little mark at the bottom see the car's 10 years old now so it's going to be the odd the odd thing on it here and there but you know the whole purpose of this video is to be absolutely open and transparent so you can just see everything there's no point us hiding anything that sort of defeat the object of doing the video so we just want you to see what we see um rear alloy yet yeah, very good couple of little light marks on it but fundamentally pretty good discs are looking good tires looking good again it'll all be health checked but uh done a lot branded tire on the back but yeah all very good indeed coming around to the side of the car onto the rear very good i love the rear of the mercedes i mean so many cars nowadays we, we specialize in jaguar land rover here and so many cars have started to hide the exhausts on the back of the car with these this this sort of exit pipe strategy rather than showing you the solid exhaust pipe but mercedes were well ahead of that i mean this is 10 years old and they were already doing it so you don't see the physical pipes on the rear exhaust but you've actually got these really kind of cool um sort of trim add-ons which hide that and just sort of adds to the slickness of the back of the car but very good you've got the led setup lights um e220 so it's all very clean rear reversing sensors all very nice and clean come along this back bumper here that's just a bit of dirt but other than that pretty good the load shelf not taking too much heat whatsoever so very very clean and again all of the rear looking as it should passengers rear corner lovely it's quite a long corner so you see a lot of these e-classes being knocked but this one no such problems looking down the passenger side again like the drivers lovely and straight no dings no dents exactly how we want to see it rear alloy same story as the rest really like tire looks good lots of tread um alloy good condition just a few little scuffs on it again we can touch those in or or look to refurb them coming down here now there is a very slight shopping trolley ding it's so small and i missed it on about the first five walk rounds but if i find it oh, it's impossible to find there is a small i'm just trying to use the light to help me that's how small it is there just there a very very slight little ding um it's so hard to see you're going to miss it most of the time but just a very small ding to just beware of it's just obviously like a little shopping trolley uh annoying one of those door not too bad couple of light marks on it i think that will just polish out to be honest but a couple of light marks on the passenger shut line nothing to worry about again get nice and low on this door here really good paintwork's lovely uh no dings no dents Mirror's all in good condition. And then finally, onto the front alloy. Uh, tire looks good. Again, a little bit of a curbing on this one, which we can just get looked at. But other than that, it's the same story as the rest of them, really. Overall, pretty good indeed. So I think on the outside of the car, you know, it's looking great. It's looking really nice. Let's have a quick look on this roof. The blue roof. Roof's in good condition. Um, it's hard in here because we're under the floodlights. They always pull up roofs worse on the camera, so it makes them look like they've got marks on them and everything like that, because it just picks everything up. But it hasn't, I'm genuinely looking at it. It's really nice condition. You know, uh, the fold lines where they crease down are, are pretty good. It's exactly what's gonna happen on most of them. There's no tears in the roof at all. The general condition is very, very nice. Couple of little marks here at the front, which we'll just clean off. But other than that, it's, uh, the roof is in really, really nice condition as well. So have a quick look inside the car. They've got one key on the car. I was told on the file there was two, but I can only at the moment find one. So if you take it from this video, there's one key. If we find a second, then it's a bonus. Inside the car, really nice combination. You've got the ivory, ivory white or sort of gray uh, leather seats. Really nice. You've got the, see above there, you've got the neck warmers in the headrest. So you turn those on. So you've got the roof down, just keeps you nice and warm. 
And over here on the driver's seat, just there it is there. It's a really nice feature. Perforated leather, um, and then obviously solid leather there. Bolster's not too bad, a little bit of wear on there, a uh, little bit of wear down here. Fundamentally not too bad, a little bit of light cracking over here. Um, it's not getting worse at all, but just bear that in mind, just a little bit of a a little bit of a crack over there on the seat. I'm sure someone knows what they're doing, can fix that up, no problems at all. It's not getting worse, uh, but yeah, just a little bit of a crack there and there really, two lines, so just bear that in mind. But other than that, the seats are in really good condition. Like I said, just a bit of wear on the, on the bolsters. Rear seats, obviously only got two in this car. Uh, nice condition, they don't really look like they've ever been used, I'm gonna be really honest. Got their own little wind deflector in the back as well. We've got AMG mats throughout the car, which is nice. We're just going to get in the car. It's a cold day, so we'll start it up. Car starts and runs lovely. Obviously, it's an automatic. I've driven this car. It's absolutely lovely. It really is. It just runs and drives so well. It's very straight. It's lovely through the gears. Over here, so we've got sort of, obviously, got our stereo system here. We've got hands-free for our telephone. Uh, eco mode. This little button here pulls your seat belts forward so you don't have to reach back. This is your neck warmer, so you turn that on and, and behind your neck gets really hot. And this is your heated seat, so you can turn them up and down or off. Uh, but into, instantly turning those on, I can feel them getting warm straight away. So obviously working well, air conditioning system. Down here, we've got so obviously just general Mercedes-Benz uh, setup, your main control unit. You've got the eco and sport mode, turn your parking sensors off. So it's all very neat and tidy. A little bit of wear here. Uh, this is the driver's side armrest just a little bit of wear there you just sort of see sort of like a little bit of cracking in the leather then up here obviously you've got we need some fuel so we'll get some fuel in it up here we've got the standard stuff really so we start with your sat nav so you sat like navigation which is working well um so that's always nice to always nice to see um then what else have we got so we go up here i'm not great on mercedes interface but i'm going to try my best audio so we have got um obviously our fm I think we've got on this, I just need to have a quick look. Here we go. So we can put memory card in to play through the memory card, USB storage stick, or you can connect it to your phone and stream your Bluetooth through the car. Uh, that also runs on hands-free for your telephone as well. Um, and then you've got normal FM and uh, AM radio. Let's just double check, I don't think this car has DAB. Let's just have a, oh no it does, ah, it has DAB radio, here we go. No reception, we never get any reception in the warehouse on any of the cars, but yeah, we've got DAB radio as well. So that's a really nice feature. So he's Ben's clock, which is nice. Over here, steering wheel's in really good condition. No issues on the steering wheel whatsoever. Really, really, really nice. I'm just gonna turn the car off because it's getting a bit hot in here. Um, really nice on here. We've got our hands-free uh, system here. This is for our, um, obviously just streaming music, you know, skip your, skip your tracks. Okay, it's for your trip computer. We've got trip tri Triptronic, power shift here if we want it um yeah very very good electric folding mirrors everything's nice yeah it's little things a little bit of wear there on the trim just where that's been used but uh fundamentally all very very clean and actually what would be a really good thing to do in this video is but should we put the roof down let's put the roof down so i'm going to start the car again actually just so you can see it in operation um i'm assuming we've got the the uh the low tray ready so we've got a little flap here uh, which just lifts up and then this is our roof control and then we put our foot on the brake and here we go we're going to start uh if i've done this right i think i might have pressed the wrong button uh, oh here we go yep see we pull it up windows go down back of the roof you can just see it going up and then in a minute the main roof should go down here we go so that's that's lifting up here we go fantastic and then it gets closed away in the back which is brilliant then in a minute the windows should go up there we go but i'm going to put the windows down because i think it looks better when it's down so let's jump out and have a quick look at the car with the roof down and then we'll be more or less done so there we go that's the mercedes with the roof down looks really nice doesn't it looks really really good you've got this kind of hard um sort of like matching paint bit of panel which is it never exposed unless the roof is down uh, it's effectively your rear parcel shelf but it just tidies it all up at the back it's just such a nice looking car. I think it's beautiful, especially with the roof down as well. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So there we go. I hope that video helps. Um, quite a lot to it. If you've got any questions, uh, if you want more details on the car, more specific areas filmed or photographed, let us know. We'd love to help. Just give us a call, um, an email, a message or a WhatsApp. We'll always come back to you. 
If you're looking at delivery, we just need to know a postcode and we get you an ETA on when we can deliver it and how much it'll cost. Uh, equally, if you want to come and see us here at Dollar Farm, we are by appointment, so do phone ahead, but we'd love to see you um, and come and have a look at it, see if you like the car. But in the meantime, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful.